Shall we sit down? Oh, yeah, for <laughs> that. At moments like this, I think it's customary to say, nice place you have here. You have. Thank you. I'm glad you find it adequate. Mr. West, would you mind showing me your profile? You brought me here for a screen test. Your profile, please. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> they were right. It's quite amazing. You'll do very nicely. Yeah, well, what will I do very nicely? Whatever I tell you, Mr. West, if you want to leave here alive. Oh, I do, I do. You know, it's practically my fondest wish. What are the odds? It depends on the degree of understanding that is reached. I agree. Whatever it is, I agree. You're being flippant. Have I overestimated your intelligence? <sighs> yeah, well, it's not hard to do. Okay, <clears throat> what's the deal? First, I would remind you that you are a wanted man. That limits your ability to negotiate. The Italian police are convinced you killed a girl. I'll buy that. So now tell me what you want. You. I thought your organization was, uh... Exclusively female. Quite. But we do use many, many men. But most of them don't realize it. At the moment, we need a man for a specific task. And if I refuse? Then you will be killed. I had a feeling it wasn't a multiple choice question. So, if I agree... Then I will give evidence to the Italian police of your innocence. Yeah, but then what's to keep me from going to the law and telling them about your little organization? By then you will be far too involved. In far too many ways. Okay, lady. It's your ball game. I thought you'd see it my way. Follow me, please. What we are about to see is unique. Historical, in fact. Am I allowed to know what it is? Let's keep it as a surprise. Why don't I come back on my birthday and we can have a surprise party? No. Uh, what seems to be the problem with him? He's a guinea pig. Guinea pig? We need him for experiments. We work very hard here for the advancement of science. Our science. How did you brainwash him so he's not yelling his head off? Well, he feels no pain. As a matter of fact, he's rather happy. Drugged? So he doesn't even speak? When we caught him and brought him here, we cut out his tongue. <sighs> if I tell you you're sick, Will the same thing happen to me? I have other plans for you, Mr. West. And for those plans, I need your tongue, your voice, and your brain. Well, there are a couple of other parts of me of which I'm inordinately fond. They will remain intact as long as you obey orders. Oh, good. Ingrid. My lady, bring me a Cubra mortis gun loaded. It's amazing, my lady. Thank you, Ingrid. What's that thing? It's the same as the game wardens use in Africa to stun animals. Except that our ammunition is something different. Follow me, Mr. West.
His name is Andrews. What are you doing to him? You'll see. Listen, whoever you are, get out of here. Get out of here while you can. She's mad! He's turning into a statue. We call it Cubra Mortis. He was right. You are mad. You're out of your mind. Just because my sense of values is different from yours, Mr. West, don't accuse me of madness. Out to lunch. You're out to lunch. Look at him. Look at him very carefully. It could be your double. <laughs> 